In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 29, 2022, and providing you with team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Tampa Bay Rays vs. Cleveland Guardians The Tampa Bay Rays face the Cleveland Guardians in the final game of a three-game set with both teams looking to improve on great seasons in the American League. The Rays have an 85-70 record and are only a few wins away from securing a playoff spot while the Guardians have an 87-68 record and with eight wins in their last 10 games have already clinched a playoff spot with the American League Central Division title. For the final game of the series, the Rays will turn to Jeffrey Springs, who has only allowed five runs in his last three starts as their starting pitcher while the Guardians will turn to Cal Quantrill to start the game. Tampa Bay is 22-8 in their last 30 Thursday games and 1-4 in their last five game threes of a series. The over is 4-0-1 to to in Tampa Bay's last five Thursday games. Cleveland is 5-0 in their last five game threes of a series and 19 to 4 in their last 23 games. The under is 12 to 3 to 1 in Cleveland's last 16 Thursday games. Tampa Bay is 18 to 6 in these two teams' last 24 head-to-head -head meetings. Tampa Bay continues to battle for position in the American League wild card race, while Cleveland has locked up the American League Central crown. Cleveland is starting Cal Quantrill, who has allowed seven runs over his last 18.1 innings pitched. For Tampa Bay, Jeffrey Springs has allowed five earned runs over his last 10.2 innings pitched. Springs has been very good for Tampa Bay this season. Springs is coming off an up and down no decision with five innings and three earned. That said, Springs put up just two earned in his previous two starts, both wins, over 11.2 innings. As for Quantrill, he's got seven earned over his last three starts in 18.1 innings total. I am going to roll with Springs in this game. We should have a good close matchup here in the finale though. The Rays should drive in runs throughout the game with Yandy Diaz, Randy Arizarena, and the rest of the lineup making hard contact against Cal Quantrill and the rest of the Guardians pitchers to easily play bass runners. The Guardians, who have averaged 4.6 five runs per game since September, should run up the score with Jose Ramirez, Andrew Gimenez, Stephen Quinn, and the rest of the lineup swinging for the fences and powering the ball against the Rays pitchers to drive in runs throughout the game. With a low total and the Guardians lineup stepping up recently, I see this game being a high-scoring one from the first pitch. This will be a high-scoring game with both lineups stepping up. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Miami Marlins vs. Milwaukee Brewers This Thursday, the Miami Marlins and the Milwaukee Brewers will play game one of this four-game series. The first pitch will be thrown out inside American Family Field. The last time these two teams matched up, the Brewers ended up stealing two of three games. The Miami Marlins are coming into this one after a tough two-game series against the New York Mets. They did win game one, though. Miami looked great at the dish as they were able to score six runs. They will need to keep their bats hot in this one if they want to challenge the Brewers on the the road. The Milwaukee Brewers are entering this one after a grueling two-game series with the St. Louis Cardinals. The Brewers struggled at the plate in Game 1. They only scored two runs, as they will need their bats to heat up if they want to take care of business at home against the Marlins. The Milwaukee Brewers are still playing for a potential National League wild card berth while the Miami Marlins are not playing for anything at this point. The injury bug has caught up with the Marlins as they have a significant portion of their lineup on the injured list and it will be tough to score runs here for them. Braxton Garrett is 2-4 with a 4.4 earned run average and a 1.16 WHIP in 8 road games this season while Eric Lauer is 5-2 with a 2.98 earned run average and a 1.18 WHIP in 11 home games thus far. The ability to hit home runs is critical to success in this day and age of baseball as the Marlins are 23rd in the sport with 37.41 at-bats 
per home run, while the Brewers are third with 24.2 at-bats per homer this season. Braxton Garrett has been great these last three months, but he doesn't get run support a lot of the time because he pitches for the Marlins. Eric Lauer has a 2.98 earned run average and .230 allowed batting average at home. The Brewers need wins if they're going to sneak into the postseason, and there's really no reason for them to blow these games against the Marlins. Must win spots for the home team. Go with the Milwaukee Brewers to continue putting pressure on the rest of the National League wild card teams with a W here over the Miami Marlins. So the Milwaukee Brewers money line is our full game side pick. Both pitchers have been going through a bit of a rough stretch lately as in the month of September. Braxton Garrett is 1-0 with a 2.53 earned run average in just 10.2 innings while Eric Lauer is getting smacked around as he is 0-2 with an 8.25 earned run average and a .333 batting average against in 12 innings. Both offenses have been doing pretty well as of late as Miami is scoring 4 runs per game in their last 4 games while Milwaukee is averaging 4.6 runs per game in their previous 5 games. Neither pitching staff has been better than mediocre in the second half of the season as the Marlins are 19th in the league with a 4.13 team earned run average while the Brewers are 17th in baseball with a 4.02 team earned run average. These teams should see a lot of runs being scored in a hitter-friendly ballpark such as American Family Field. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Oakland Athletics vs. Los Angeles Angels If you wanted to see the 56-98 Oakland Athletics play the 68-86 Los Angeles Angels, you'd be able to see the game for as little as $2 at Angel Stadium this Thursday night. Two teams on the brink of ending disappointing seasons meet. The Angels trout out their generational pitcher for this inconsequential game in late September while Oakland is waving the white flag and counting the days until pitchers and catchers report. The Athletics are 1-4 in their last five road games and 17-35 in their last 52 overall. The Angels are 4-1 in their last five home games and 0-6 in their last six Thursday games. The over is 4-1 in Athletics' last five overall. The under is 7-3 in Angels' last 10 Thursday games. The Athletics are 0-4 in the last four meetings. Cole Irvin has been respectable this season, but he pitches for the A's, and they're not producing runs much these days. The Los Angeles Angels have put up crooked numbers all week and now they have Shohei Otani on the hill. Otani has allowed seven earned runs in his last 53.2 innings. The Angels have won the last five starts by Otani, and the A's bats are going to really struggle here. The A's are averaging only 3.53 runs per game, and they will struggle to get to even three runs here. Look for the Angels bats to get to Cole Urban, and that will be enough for the Angels to take care of business in this game. This should be a comfortable win for the home team. So the Los Angeles Angels to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. When these two baseball teams play each other in 2022, the under is 10 to 4 to 0. The median total is 8 runs, but the Angels and A's average 6.3 runs in their 14 games before Wednesday. The under has hit Otani's last four starts, but frankly, these two teams stink at the plate and have shown that against each other all season. The under is safe with Otani, but let's not kid ourselves about two bottom five hitting teams in Major League Baseball. The trends say take the under with Otani and Irvin on the mound. Under the projected total, as our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.